All right, top priorities. Go talk to Peter. Go buy my food. Not my food. Shelter food. And go to the Sabarov family. We are currently located way over there. I need to go over here for Sabarov. Probably top goal. Here for food. So let's head straight-ish. Out we go. How's my... Hmm... There we go. I accidentally dropped one again. I always do that. I'm trying to pump up that immunity. My understanding is that immunity functions as a surprisingly linear. Uh, what is happening right here? What the? F oh, get out of here! Get out of here! There we go. Something was in the way of my cable on my mouse. I use a non-wireless mouse because wireless mice have signal interference problems in addition to having to have another battery in my life to take keep track of. I prefer having every controller type thing I have wired, both for having a consistent signal and f for not having to deal with batteries and so on. Uh, but something was weirdly in the way of the cable and it was and my mouse isn't that heavy, so my mouse started floating off the ground <laughs> on the other end. That I'm not holding as tightly. I'm like, I'm like, and it was leading to the signal being going like, rrr, rrr. that was weird. So my understanding is that uh, immunity is like a buffer against infection, because as you get infection, then it can spread over time, and also it can eat away at your health meter. And those are both helped by keeping your immunity meter high. So I'm probably gonna want to keep the immunity meter as high as I can at all times, just like I do with health and reputation and keep hunger, exhaustion, and infection all as low as I can, and that'll be the fight. Game's tricking me into engaging with, uh, with freaking, uh, mechanics for, uh, survival games. Let's review the exact items real quick, just to make sure we're not messing it up. Three bread, three dried fish, and three smoked meat. Okay. Dried fish, two. Let's get one of those. Very expensive, but that's why they got the money for it. Smoked meat. Oop, now I got each of those set up. And then I need bread. I can buy two bread from you, of which I believe I have zero. I don't see one around here. So this is This is eating into my supplies, but the fact that I stocked up on food already before this day started means that I'm not doing terribly on supplies. Uh, a lot of the money they gave me I'm actually gonna get to keep, probably, uh, because I already had the bread, bought it, uh, I already had four of the, of the nine items purchased at lower prices the previous day. If I wanted to really save scum it on purpose, I could use this knowledge to go back in time and just get all of it, and then come here and be like, I get to keep the 15 grand or whatever. Uh, It's amazing that these sell for, like, half the price of, uh, of food and stuff like that. I think I can give jewelry to the little girls, though, right? Like, it has more value than just money. We'll see. We shall see. But that's pretty much what I'm gonna go with right now, right? I think so. I don't want to buy anything that I don't have to because food is awful right now, and I'm gonna hold out hope of it not being awful in the future, hopefully. All right, so... Rations. Three dried fish. Three smoked meat. Two bread. I still need to find one more place to buy one last piece of bread. And it's 2 p.m. All right. Let's keep it going before we run out of time today. I don't know the stores very well, unfortunately. I would love to be able to write down what each store is in an in-game, because the alternative is to have a map on my wall, like print out a whole map of this game and put it on my wall, I guess. Which is technically valid at times, but it's a lot to deal with, and I don't have a printer. So that'd be a that'd be a trip to the mailing office. Because they have printers. Hey look! The other restaurant. 
convenient. Wow, my exhaustion's getting up there. Don't judge me. Judgy lady. Hello, identical store. How do you do? Why, yes, it is me. You found my wormhole, did you? Alright. Now I have three bread. I'm a good man who does nice things for people, and I'm going to be collapsing from exhaustion at approximately 4 p.m., like humans do. What I love about this game so far is that it has this big world and setting and story and game mechanics for me to focus on, but it also has all those survival mechanics layered into that. My problem is that, like, I, I was really hyped about survival games when I started my channel, to the point where when I when I first commissioned the first banner, the one before the one I had for Wander, I had these ambitious ideas for a bunch of things that would kind of emphasize this survival nature, because I kind of thought I'd play a bunch of survival games on the channel. The artist kind of half-assed it, and that without even telling me he was going to simplify it, he massively simplified the artwork and just drew me at a fire, basically. Uh, which then Wander, like two years later, made a way more detailed version of and re replaced that. Uh, but I was into the idea, and it's why I still hold on to the idea in the back of my head of playing Mia's Mata, because I was planning on playing that genre a lot, just in general. But, uh... No new notes, is there? No. It was a genre I was attached to the idea of playing, but in reality, whenever I play the survival games, I find myself frustrated by the lack of mechanics. The sab- this is the Oglimsky's family. Why did I want to come here? No, uh... Right, Georgie agrees to delegate his authority, now I need to convince Oglimsky to delegate his authority. Right. Yeah, I'll turn around. I had the vestige of memory from last time that I, I wanted to come to this building next, but I had to remind myself why. But yeah, I plan on playing a bunch of survival games, but I found the genre is needing of expansion and maturity and age that it doesn't have. Because it's you just get dumped into an open world where you can play alone or with your friends and some meters tick down and you keep filling those meters and then you can build some stuff, I guess. And usually that's like, that's kind of the sum of what the game is. And you just kind of persist in a sandbox forever. Whereas these mechanics being layered onto a game that, that, that otherwise exists independent of them Lucky adds to it. Bad hands at correcting their faults. They always believe that they're right when fortune backs up their vice or folly. See what you've done, Doctor? You won't be able to leave this place now. The town is blocked off. I've transferred my powers over to Sabarov. He didn't hesitate to express his gratitude by assigning me to the position of an intendant. Now I'm in charge of equipping and maintaining infirmaries. I'm sure the train is not the only line of communication with the rest of the world. It is. The station is shut off, but it will be reopened when a regular freight train arrives. It will definitely be, Doctor. That's when we'll discuss how to snatch ourselves a vehicle there. Thank you, but I have no plans to leave at the moment, especially no illegal plans. Pity. I wanted to ask a favor of you in return, but I will do that later. Later. I want to get to know your new allies better, the Canes and the Sabarovs. Otherwise, it will be less dramatic. I want you to get to know your all new allies better. Right. Uh, for a second, I thought he said he wanted to know them better. I'm like, don't you know everyone already here? We will have an opportunity to come to an agreement. That's the end of that. Boop -a -da -boop. Don't have anything to do with you right now. You're an investor.
and a current owner of the Willows. Bring the key to Alexander. Key. key. Solid proof the great that they're in danger. I need to review the quest log. The map's not helpful because a lot of the map notes are outdated at times. So I'm trying to go to Peter, and this was... This is Lara. So Peter, Lara, I think Lara's nearby. I think Lara's right up here, right? Yes. Yes, okay. The chances of gathering the resources she requires is dwindling by the hour. I have them all. We're good. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Hey, I got two coins. You're bad at skipping. Get better. Don't go blaming it on the plague. Creepy, identical, small men. They're, the children are really unnerving because they don't look- they don't look like children. They look like tiny men. Like, just a man. A full-sized character scaled down. Like, their proportions look wrong somehow. In a way that I don't know enough about anything to articulate. But I look at the children and I'm like, what's wrong with that child? Like, I don't know what it is, but that guy looks more right. Like, the kids... The adolescent kids look vaguely more okay. But something about the tiny child, specifically the tiny, the tiny boy, I'm like, what happened to you? Are you okay? Should I get help? I don't like how the little girls always look at me disapprovingly whenever I enter within a radius. Also, I like how these guys keep walking down the street, snapping. Here we are. Everything's going A-OK. -okay. After that loads. There we go. You, you know, you guys could get help get the goddamn food. It's fine. Haruspex was offered a hundred thousand for his inheritance. He refused. You guys like to talk about Haruspex a lot. Here's what you asked for. Is this all you've managed to buy? Yes. You need to bring it over to the empty house in the flank. I showed you the way before, remember? My friends and I- My friends and an attendant had helped us with the shopping. Are waiting there already. I'll be back soon. Oh. The future refuge is right next to where I just was at the lump. Interesting location to choose? That exhaustion's getting up there. That exhaustion's getting up there. <laughs> the, the radius! Your reaction radius is so big! They stop in their tracks, lock their eyes on you, and just judge you the moment you enter with like within like a hundred feet. And they're the only character that does that, besides maybe the little boys. Whereas the drunks don't even stop ever. They don't give a crap what I'm doing. And go on, get. Ain't got time for you. And they like, they like stop and whip around. <laughs> like they weren't even looking at me, but they had to stop in their tracks and look around at me just so I can feel uncomfortable. Um... Why is your refuge the creepiest fucking place? What the fuck am I- is that a screaming man? You're not real, right? Everyone's dead here. See? No one knows why. Perhaps it's an echo of yesterday's vendetta. We're a bit at a loss about this- about this loss ourselves. What am I supposed to do with the provisions? The dead have no use for it. Give your offerings to Lara. Wasn't it she that asked you to bring food? She wanted to call her shelter the house of the living, didn't she? Wait, is she supposed to refashion her own home into a Lazar house now? She won't need it anymore anyway. 
Lara only has a few days left. Do persuade her to make the most of them. What? Is she going to die? How should we know? We are not the ones in charge here. We only know one thing for certain. It won't take long. We have nothing to do with it. Who does then? That will become very obvious very soon. Hurry, or poor Lara will die of starvation today. I will find a way to get to you. Just you wait. The executor. We keep talking to the executor. Ah! I don't want to be here anymore. I'm leaving. Did my exo did my infection get worse? I don't think it did. I don't want to be in there. I don't want to. No, <laughs> I don't even want to look around in there right now. Okay, let's just backtrack the exact path I just took for the, like the third consecutive time. Well, Laura, I got bad news. Uh, shit's fucked. Is the the usual way of expressing the situation. Uh, you're- I don't know when you last went there, but it- it's like a weird horror nightmare right now. Full of screaming and insect noises and green and narrative spirits <laughs> that are here to tell us the narrative or something. Weird plague doctor guy that just shows up, which as far as I can tell, he's- he's not real, right? <clears throat> as far as I know. I don't know what to think of them. There was the two guys standing at the beginning of the game that were the kind of the tutorial. But they could be manifestations of a thing that matters more directly than that. It is not so dangerous to do wrong to most men as to do them too much good. I've obtained the rations, but there wasn't a very... Oh. But there are very odd orderlies standing by the house you've directed me at. They're using theatrical masks and costumes as disease protection, as far as I understood. Wait, wait was that guy real? Yes, I know. The house of living will, ha will have to be relocated here. How does everyone know everything all the time? I'm constantly sent to tell people information, but then when I get there, they already know all the time. And I'm like, how did you get that information? I just, I just came straight here from there after you sent me there, and you didn't know then, right? The house of the living will have to be re relocated here. Remember that you're always welcome at the shelter. We'll preserve the stock, distributing the food in small portions. We will make it. I hope it'll end soon. So I will always be able to find a room and board at your place? You will. Take this as a reward, too. These are nuts. I've been... I've been given some today. It's great luck. They must have come from an old cache. Do you know how to use them? Crack them before eating. What else am I supposed to do with nuts? No, don't eat them. Barter them. Our children would turn themselves inside out for these nuts. Keep that in mind. Especially if you want to barter for something dangerous. Why do they value nuts so highly? It's an old game. The children, a child takes a nut and sends it on all sorts of adventures. At some point, adults took all nuts away from the kids. They thought this game provoked them to do something risky themselves. The most wonderful thing is that the children remember almost every nut in town by heart. Um... How? Wait, does each of them have a story of its own or something? I think so. Well, anyway... It's pure treasure. Thank you. I'll come by to see you soon. That's a lot of nuts. And something else I don't know. What was that? A lens. Lenses like this can be set into an optical apparatus and used to identify dense clusters of infected par part uh, particles. Different lens sets allow for early detection and identification of different types of infected clusters. So I can use that at my, at my uh, microscope back at my house, I guess. Too dry. There's no need to be so scared. Probably is though, you know. So I assume the food's gone, right? Yeah. And replaced with nuts. So many nuts. Uh, you alright? You okay? Okay, everyone's back into creepy mannequin mode. Oh no, he's freaking out. 
that was unnerving because I walked to, I, when I walked in everyone was standing straight up and when I walked back in, out everyone was like crouching or b doubled over and I'm like what's happening right now hi little girl what's in your pockets pumpkin you want to trade presents you're supposed to have presents when you say that you liar let's go talk to Peter Peter needs to know about the update so that we can do the escape storyline even though I don't think it's gonna go anywhere but you know my uh my housemate is spooked and would like to talk to people oh yeah we're doing we're doing infection again that's happening it hasn't noticeably changed I'm not a, I'm not a good judge of that stuff though I'm bad at telling whether or not stuff like that has actually changed in a significant way or not since last time I looked at them. Hey, can somebody sell me, like, a gun, please? Hey, kid, you got, you got any guns? Hey, mister, would you like an AK? He has bullets. It's not that far off, but I'm not going to buy bullets if I don't have a gun. Because for all I know, I could use the currency to buy the gun. And until the moment I have a gun, they're not that useful to me into trouble I'm trying to avoid real stores as much as possible I'm hoping that the uh, the price hike will dissipate a little bit because today they're huge and I think that that might be true for all stores of all kinds but not that I actually know what normal stuff was priced like with, aside from food really so kind of just navigating around it for now Peter, Peter, I would like to have a word with you, and also to remember to check your bio. I didn't check your bio last time. At least the current symptoms are sporadic, and no one's saying that they see them on me, so I guess it's not going to affect my social standing yet. But there is a problem of me being the doctor going around to talk to everybody and help them if I myself have the plague. Oops, went the long way around. What if he can mix herbs? Fancy that. A new brew can come out of this. A new, you know, eh? Peter Stamaton. And Angel's take on him. Well, it's common consensus that both of them are brilliant. You don't need to be the brightest tool in the shed to see Peter as the real genius. Such people are only born once a century. Not that I deny Andre has talent, but Peter has drowned his gift in, tw in Twyrene long ago, and it's become glaringly obvious that Andre is nothing without him. Now, Andre believes that it is his duty to protect Peter and serve as a middleman between the harsh reality and the drunken brother. Alexander Sabarov's take. Both of them are rabid villains. Bonus points to Peter for also being a murderer. No matter what his creative achievements are, I would have ended him long ago, were he not almost completely mentally deranged. Wild, cruel, disruptive. 400 years ago, this type of artists were more than satisfied with using a knife for a brush and blood for paint. This is the kind of people that believe that creativity absolves any sin. All right. That's a <laughs> significant gap in opinion. I can't shrug away the feeling that someone's sc scratching at the windowsill. You haven't changed your mind, have you? No. I have news for you. This evening, Alexander Saparov will become the governor. Oglumsky and Kane are going to vest him nearly unrestricted powers to curb the epidemic that your brother and you refuse to believe in. Bloody hell. Are you sure about this? I am. What of Georgie? What does the judge say? Bloody hell. So Saparov will be the judge now, too. I don't think so, but he'll have the right to execute anyone whom he considers to be guilty of breaking the quarantine. That's it. I'm a dead man. As luck would have it, it happens exactly when I'm about to create a truly glorious masterpiece. Fine. Let us go. So I'm telling Andre you've agreed. Hey, 
progress. Also, hey, exhaustion's really getting up. I really should have slept at when I was at that house since they do allow me to take shelter there. Like, just for a couple hours. <clears throat> I'm just scared to, because I haven't done the main quest yet. And I, so I'm trying to wring every bit of progress I can out of my day. Out of fear that at any moment it might end. Although for all I, for all I know, I'm going to talk to this guy and turn in this thing, more or less. And then he'll just be like, that's it. Go to bed. It's the end of the day. Never know. What I do know is that when I want to take a drink, it's hard to navigate because the side strafing is so slow. Oops. Wrong side of the house. Their mysterious, strange house that's not connected, even though there are a couple. What's up with you? Why do you do this to me? Neither the sun nor death can be looked at without winking. Who said that? I have received express messages from Kane and Noglimsky. No one will dare interfere with my choices now. We are declaring quarantine. We'll create an anti-epidemic operational headquarters. I plan to assign ourselves to be its supervisors. Myself, because it is my duty. You, because that would be fair. We must fight shoulder to shoulder, do you agree? I need unrestricted authority, access to all districts, and a personal firearm. From now on, infected districts will be blocked off. No one will leave the town until the situation is resolved. You will be allowed access to any and all areas of the town, of course. Neither Kane nor Glimsky will have any rights to stop you. You will have to provide the population with clear instructions. Be, cl be careful about it. It's not my place to mentor you, though. Of course, I will send you the text. However, I need a weapon and the unrestricted right to use it. I will recruit volunteers. We will pick trustworthy ones. People of good standing. Family men with good reputations. I will grant them the widest range of authority. They will thwart any violence or looting. They will also stop any attempts to use arms. Where and when can I be armed? Here. I was like, how many times do I have to ask before he even acknowledges my question? Take good care of it. Firearms are rare in this town. If you need a gun, your best bet would be looking for it in the black market. Some townsfolk may ma keep makeshift, outdated, or prohibited guns. I am sure that those who do will want to use them sooner or later. That is how we'll find them. But I have almost none at hand. I have no idea how you plan to stop a frenzied mob without weapons. Do what you think is apt. I only ask two things of you. First of all, take good care of yourself. Drink, eat, sleep, be careful. I'm afraid many will take advantage of the situation and either settle old accounts or fulfill their hidden agendas. Secondly, spare those lives that can be spared. I will act according to the circumstances. And what circumstances they are. I could use a little rest. I've got a gun. That's not my gun. It happened. I have a gun. 30% durability. What's your... 0% dur... Great. Alright, that's a good sign. 6 round semi-automatic revolver. Shotgun rounds. Revolver. Oh, I have two revolver shots. Okay. I am the Asla now. Okay, so now I can I can win a gunfight. Well, I can engage. I can make something a gunfight very abruptly, and then and then the fight ends because the gun was used. Yeah. What was that sound for? Stop being dramatic, game. It's weird. Hey, I've not been finding stuff very much lately.
Why, howdy there, little girl. We know all about you. Easy there, why are you running so fast? Shopping! Oh, we already talked about this. Hurry up, then. Well, oh, there's still goods to buy. Except I'm going to trade with you now. You have... Revolver ammo. Cool. How much does that cost? I guess one. That's worth three. That's worth five. Ah. A needle's worth one. I'll trade a needle for a bullet. There we go. Enjoy your needle. I have one more revolver shot now. I like how all the little children are arms dealers. That seems sane. That's Anna. Crap. That's... Yeah. I'm off by a little bit, because I'm trying to go over there. Whoops. By the way, is today's quest over? For the time being, the power struggle between the ruling families has ceased. They have appointed Alexander Sabarov as governor, and granted him full civil and judicial control over the town. As such, he has declared a state of emergency. They will quarantine the town, and now everyone is looking to me to suggest a further course of action. Hello. Right, you're not the person, you're the vendor guy. I get mixed up. What value do flowers have, I wonder? Oh well. I'm not in the selling mood generally, because I'm concerned that anything I have might be important Fortune for something. So blind to none as to those to whom she has done no good. Sit. That was an aphorism. Take a load off your feet. Your brothers agreed. Well, don't let the door hit your asses on our way, then. There are plenty more shitholes in the world. I might need a gun, though. Do you have a weapon? I could use more. Right. Let's do the preparation separately, then. Here's some money. The black market around here is run by a mongrel calling himself Bad Grief. Have you met the rodent already? No, I didn't have time for that. He resides in the northern warehouses. And so? You can always find a human killing st the humans killing stuff at griefs. Now then, he'll obviously try to rob you as best he can, but you only need to say Andre's off to the kennel to him, and he'll change his tune immediately. He may even give you something for free. Well, what does that phrase mean? An old business of ours. It means he forgot who I was while I was busy drinking in his den. Alright. Then what? Then you come back. Meanwhile, I'll try to think of a way to get on Gugong's good side. Who's Gugong? One of the locals. The d a deaf and dumb train driver. Not quite human. Made of soil and bones. Glued together with sticky blood and inspired with thick twire ty, twi, twirene this, this goddamn word <laughs> just like Ola's step brethren I'd break this, his neck but the engine wouldn't go anywhere without him don't you frown I'll deal with him that is fortunate hey some bad grief a smuggler and a, and a thief kingpin can provide us with the weapons required for the escape a thousand again. Seems like Harispex is. Everyone wants to talk about this Harispex guy. I'm starting to feel jealous, honestly. 